Hello, everybody. Today I'm talking about September planetary news, and it is good news. Uh, at least four planets are in dignity during September, and planets in dignity mean uh, that they are behaving themselves. <laughs> and uh, we have had a long time every time there's something. Uh, complex and awkward, but uh, let's hope they do deliver. So uh, let us explore further. Hello, this is Komela Sutton, and I'm talking September planetary news. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. Also, do sign up for my newsletter. It comes out every month, and you don't want to miss it. A link is below. So what about September? Uh, September is an unusual month this year. Uh, because uh, a number of planets are in dignity. Uh, we start the month with uh, uh, Mercury exalted, uh, Sun in Leo. Uh, Mars is also in Leo. However, Mars goes out into Virgo later on. Uh, so then uh, uh, Venus uh, on 5th of September comes into Libra and stays the rest of the month in Libra. Uh, Saturn, which has been for a long time in Capricorn. So he's also in dignity, although he is retrograde, but he's in mid-cycle. So we are not really feeling the retrograde all the time. Of course, Saturn is Saturn, so he has to do his work, whatever that is. So we are aware of that. Uh, and in my experience, I've seen that if uh, two planets plus the moon or three planets are in dignity, that time is pretty good. And uh, when uh, I'm electing time, I'm looking for those uh, periods of success. Obviously, if any of these planets is either your Lagna Lord or Moon Lord, then it enhances uh, your experience of September 2021. Now, however, what you have to watch out for is uh, that what is your uh, dasha you are in? What is happening to your personal chart? That is something I cannot uh, do in this uh, video. No, but it, it, despite that, when so many planets in dignity, I feel uh, this is a, a positive month and something to look forward to. And I'm certainly looking forward to it. Uh, and then uh, Jupiter will retrograde back on 14th of uh, September out of Aquarius into Capricorn. Uh, however, Saturn is in Capricorn, but Jupiter will not conjoin with Saturn. So Saturn is helping to uh, cancel its debilitation uh, and uh, supporting uh, Jupiter. So that is, uh, I would say, one of the complex aspects of September. And then Mercury goes retrograde on 26th of September. So do watch out for that. And it is a month uh, out of time, you can say, because October, again, there's a number of uh, complex uh, aspects, conjunctions taking place. So uh, one of the things I want uh, you as followers of astrology to be aware that planets are always moving. We are talking transit. So uh, therefore, we are always trying to uh, you know, react to the transits and rather than subconscious reaction, we should become conscious of them. That this is the energy, this is when I have to be careful, this is when things are fun and okay and let, let us enjoy it. So uh, therefore, I would say that mostly September will be one with a lot less hurdles and, uh, you know, uh, enjoy near your home uh, because uh, planets are in their own sign and Mercury, though exalted, is also in its own sign. Uh, so that means own sign is home or near your home. So I feel that is what is important to uh, work with this uh, transit and to enjoy the September energy. Uh, how does it affect you? So do remember that we are looking at from your ascendant and your moon sign. Uh, so as far as Aries, uh, 
you know, you, your most important thing is Lagna Lord and Moon Lord. So they are in your sixth house now. Mars also goes into the sixth house. The sixth house is health and healing and opposition. However, sun continues half the month in your fifth house of creativity. Uh, Mars is, uh, is okay in the sixth house. Saturn in the 10th house of career. Uh, Venus is in uh, love. Uh, so a lot of uh, positive aspects as well. Taurus, for you, uh, you know, Mercury, fifth lord in the fifth house, that is very good. Uh, Venus changes signs. Although Venus is in dignity, it goes into your sixth house. So uh, sixth house is health, healing. Uh, sometimes it can bring some opposition, delays. So do watch out for that. And I great month for you. Mercury is exalted most of the month. Uh, when it goes into Libra, it's your fifth house. Venus is in Libra. Uh, so I feel that is a pretty positive time for you. Uh, Saturn continues in your eighth house. So, uh, you know, you have to watch that even though he's in dignity, he's not good uh, uh, transit for you. Cancer, uh, you know, uh, Sun is in your second house. Uh, Mercury exalted in your third house. Venus in the fourth house is going to create a Mahapursha yoga for you. Uh, so I would say largely it is a good uh, month for you. Uh, you just have to watch where the moon is because for cancer that is uh, an important factor to look out for. Leo, uh, very good month for you. Uh, sun is in Leo. Uh, Mercury is uh, exalted, financially good, personally good. And even when sun moves into Virgo, it's your second house of money, savings, finances. Uh, Venus is in the third house. So I would say largely this is a very positive time for you. Virgo, Mercury is in the first house. You are having a Mahapursha yoga for a long time, a month to enjoy. Uh, don't overanalyze the month. Sometimes uh, Virgo can overanalyze things and then think, oh, I sh it should be better. So what is important to think is what is you're experiencing is good. And Venus will be in your second house. That is also positive. Saturn in, is uh, continuing in your fifth house. Uh, so mostly it is a very good uh, transit. I think Sun in Leo, do watch out for uh, finances and, uh, you know, spending. And uh, when uh, Mars comes into Virgo and Sun, watch for impulsiveness and anger. Sometimes you can feel suddenly irritable or angry. Mm, uh, Libra, uh, I think for you, uh, it's a great after 5th of September uh, because Venus is in Libra all month. But I think what you have to watch out for is the number of planets in your 12th house. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Sun and Mercury and Mars. So expenses, uh, keep a control over them. Uh, otherwise, uh, you will have a great month. And you'll feel great anyway, even though, uh, you know, uh, there's all these planets in the 12th house, your mood will be very good. But I think that be extra conscious of how you spend your money and how you, uh, you know, don't waste your energy. Uh, Scorpio, uh, this month, uh, of course, has got a lot of sun in Leo. 10th house opportunities. Mars is going into Virgo. Uh, Virgo is fine for you. It's your 11th house money. Mercury is exalted in Virgo. Uh, Venus uh, going into Libra may not be so good for you in the sense it can create some big expenses and also uh, sometimes disconnection with partners, relationships, lack of communication with them. However, it also can enhance your spiritual life with Venus in Libra in your 12th house. So if you focus on that, that would be very good. Sagittarius, uh, I think the main thing for you in this month is that Jupiter retrogrades back to uh, Capricorn. It is retrograding from Aquarius third house to second house Capricorn. I will make a separate video on this. And Capricorn is also uh, your house of savings. And I found that Jupiter in Capricorn was very good for Sagittarius savings. So uh, you can think about uh, 
uh, about what you're doing, restructuring your finances. Uh, Mercury is uh, creating a Mahapursha yoga for you in the 10th house. So uh, that is positive for you. Venus is in the 11th house, the other house of money, earnings. Uh, so I would say largely this is a, a very good month for you. Just watch out around 14th. There's a shift and, uh, you know, be aware how that shift is affecting you. Capricorn, a uh, very good month for you, really. Uh, Saturn is in Capricorn. Uh, Venus goes into Libra, which is your 10th house of career. Mercury is in your 9th house of good luck. And uh, planets are moving out of your 8th house, you know. So I would say that as this month progresses, September, things will get easier for you. Uh, many opportunities professionally. Good luck is in, on your side. Uh, so enjoy it. I think Saturn being in your ascendant or moon, uh, that is a hard one, depending on what degree your ascendant is or your moon is, then uh, that is, uh, you have to take that into account. Uh, that can give a lot of pressure for you. Uh, Aquarius, uh, this is a complex month for you. I would say of all the signs, Aquarius has to tread carefully in September. The reason is this, that all the planets are in uh, positions that are not always positive for you. So we have Mercury in your eighth house with Sun and Mars and uh, Saturn itself is transiting the 12th house. The most redeeming feature for you is Venus on 5th of September going into uh, Libra. That is your ninth house. Good luck, good opportunity, good advice. So take advice if you're in doubt about something. And then Jupiter, which has been in your ascendant, goes into your 12th house. So uh, then you have Jupiter, Saturn, both in the 12th house. So watch your expenses. And it can take you abroad as well. Uh, but uh, that would be good, of course, with the COVID regulations. It's not so easy to travel just now. I see is the main thing you have to keep in account is that Jupiter goes into Capricorn, back retrograde, back Capricorn for two months. And this is on 14th of uh, uh, September and uh, it will stay there retrograde till it goes direct in October and stays there till uh, November. Uh, however, 11th house is not so negative for you. Uh, Jupiter is with Saturn, so Saturn will uh, cancel its debilitation. Uh, 11th house is house of profit earning. This is a great time to think about uh, how you're going to earn anything you want to tweak, improve, uh, that would be the best thing to do. Uh, Mercury is creating a Mahapursha yoga all most of the month being in the seventh house. That is quite positive for you. That also helps professionally. Uh, Saturn is also in your 11th house. Uh, Sun, Mars continue in your sixth house. Uh, and then Mars goes into your seventh house on 5th of uh, uh, September. So be careful you're not creating, having arguments with your partners or some impulsive behavior. I would say what is important is to try to think, is it important that you need to discuss this and prioritize any disputes that you may have because Mars is going to be there for some time. Uh, and uh, uh, so that is it for today. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification, and do leave comments for me, anything new you would like me to do. And I always read them and I listen to you and add that to my program. Thanks again. Bye-bye.